Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Stewart. This is your Sports Medicine Minute. Uh, this time around, I thought we'd talk about some of the uh, physiologic uh, reasons women tend to tear their ACL at a much higher rate than guys do. Uh, in another session, we talked about the anatomical reasons, or some of the anatomical reasons. Uh, today, I thought we'd talk about some of the uh, landing patterns and reasons why women tend to tear their ACL at a much higher rate. Uh, when we did a study about 10 years ago and published it on the landing strategy, we call it landing strategy. In reality, it's, it's the way women land uh, from a jump. Uh, and we did this testing a lot of the female professional skiers landing from about a, uh, a foot and a half up or a uh, box at about 60 centimeters above the ground. When they landed, they tended to land flat-footed with their knee in full extension and their hip uh, in neutral position. The guys, when they did the same jump and same landing, their feet were pointing down, or what we call plantar flex. Their knees were much more flexed, and their hips were more flexed. In other words, they were absorbing the load a little bit uh, better. Uh, whether this is learned or uh, just innate, nobody really knows, but there is a landing strategy that uh, females tend to adopt in, that puts their knee at a higher risk. We need to get them to uh, jump and land with their knees a little bit more flexed in order to help prevent this. The second thing we see is just like we talked about in another session where women tend to be a little bit more knock-kneed, as they're going forward, their knee tends to buckle in even more, putting the knee at higher risk. Uh, and you can test this in yourself when you're doing a little bit of a lunge or a squat. If the knee is diving inwards, uh, it's putting the ACL at a higher risk, especially if you're jumping or landing. You want the knee going right over the big toe. So two big areas of advice for women athletes. Uh, number one, jump and land with more of a flexed posture in the knee, foot, hip, and ankle. Uh, that'll help absorb the load. The second thing, when you are running forward, make sure that the kneecap goes right over the second toe instead of diving in. Uh, those two uh, items right there will help protect your knee if at all possible. That's been your Sports Medicine Minute. Uh, thanks for listening.